G'day everyone. I thought I'd give you another look at Darth Maul and Sith Speeder. Just get these out of the road. I'll give you a closer look. It's a beauty. So yeah, I wanted to show you how you get it back on the speeder. So I showed you in the other video how to get it off. It's got uh, foot pegs, as they all do. And yeah, you can just go into those pegs there. Get, I did take his robe off too. You can completely take the robe off. Just take it over the head first and then just pull the arms through. It goes uh, on just as easy it comes off. And yeah, it's, I, I don't think it's meant to be used or posed like without the robe. It doesn't look that good. But you can get him sitting right down. When I first got him, he was sort of sitting up a bit. You can get him right down, sitting good. Really, that is great, you know, the wheelies. <laughs> That bracelet on his wrist is removable. I'm not sure if it's called a bracelet, but uh, yeah, it calls the probe droids. Initially three of those coming out the back of his Sith infiltrator. And then one returns with the location of the Jedi. So let's uh, fix these feet up. They could be a little bit tighter. They don't really hold it that great. But it gives you a rough idea of where it's supposed to go. Yeah. Good enough. Looks good with the hood up. It's a really nice hood. The whole robe's great. Lean a fair bit. Quick closer look at this guy. The probe droid. Yeah, it can uh, move about a bit. Uh, I did try and pull it off, but not that hard, and uh, yeah, it didn't come off. So I'm guessing it's not supposed to. So yeah, you get the probe droid, the binos, and of course the lightsabers. 
I tried to uh, disconnect the blades from the hilt and yeah, they wouldn't come off. But, uh, there's a spot there. And I couldn't see a good spot on his belt for it, so I'm not sure if it's supposed to be used. Yeah, it would have been good to have got a complete uh, hilt where you could just remove one section. Because he does sort of fight Qui-Gon with the whole hilt. Sort of like this little guy. Yeah, like that. Three and three quarter. There's the three and three quarter speeder. With the opening section there. And yeah, that does fire. I'll do that later. <laughs> Very size comparison. And a colour difference too. Yeah. This is the real deal. Let's take it down a bit. Those horn showing a bit yeah we're sort of uh maybe there you can put a uh, maybe it goes there Let's get at least one into his hand. So the battle of Qui Gon. This one will do it. Definitely hope they do a new figure of him sometime. The articulation on him is a little bit rough. His arms especially. But yeah, this is a much nicer figure. A couple of figures up 
and breathe away. I'd like to have uh, that real ship, that silver one. some figure. Getting in some awesome passes pretty easy. Just gonna quickly put There's one weapon. That thing off. I think it looks better without it, eh? Definitely. I did notice even the little tiny three and three quarter head one, but it's not removable. <laughs> Not removable either. Yeah, come a long way since that old version. Certainly awesome.
really nice. So yeah, great little set. So there's another version of them coming out soon too. I guess it's the feed ha hanger version of him. But yeah, this is definitely the Tatooine version. Maybe just an all-in-one hilt would have been great. Yeah, great addition to my collection. Until my next Star Wars collection video, may the force be with you.